Alrighty then, what is going on guys? And this time we're not gonna be fooling around as much. Today we're gonna be making some great progress, I'm telling you for sure. I am telling you for sure, read the guide a little bit. And uh, like I said, I think that we're gonna be pretty close to ending the game. Today we're gonna be get, we're gonna be making some sweet sweet progress. And I do have my guide right over here, so first things first, I'm gonna heal myself a little bit over here. While standing with, uh, while standing here with Keith, just talking about some random stuff. And uh, I also leveled up a bunch of times in my spare time. And I got uh, 99999 gold. So that means we're gonna be doing something with, uh, with that amount of gold. Which, I'm not gonna say it right now. For right now, we shall go through here and attack a bunch of these guys. And level up once again. <laughs> Might as well. They are like level 44 over here. But yeah, I, uh, these guys are pretty good uh, for for grinding. When it comes to like late, uh, like late enemy f enemies and such. Late enemy enemies. Like, la like late uh, game enemies. Uh, they're also pretty darn tough, so might as well just to go past them. I don't think I really need to to deal with those guys anymore. But we shall go over here first. We are at the goddess's palace now. What we're gonna do here exactly is well, we're gonna be talking to the goddesses. I think we are the goddesses of ease. Please come forward. Oh, look at this. This looks nice. It is good that you have come. We have great need of your strength. Now, in order to reach the core of the shrine, where we await, you will need to find and use the second pendant. Some of our people have been turned to stone, and one of them carries it. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're still gonna have to try to find a way to unpetrify those guys. Also, enshrined in the Campanile is an item called the Dreaming Idol. It can be used to undo the curse of petrification. First, bring the idol to us, and we shall instruct you in its use. Okay. So, we're gonna have to go to Campanile Lane over here. Ah oh, yeah, there you go. Now my health is all back to normal. Like, back to full. Full, 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 full. Okay. Now, here's uh, another awesome thing. Not only can we go here to Goddess's Palace to regain our health like every single time, I think, but we can also uh, choose to teleport right over here to Goddess's Palace if we want to. So we now have an easy access to these late parts of uh, the shrine, which is pretty good. Also gonna have to <clears throat> save here a little bit. But yeah, now we can uh, teleport over here whenever we want so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is uh well actually uh now we can go back to lens village now i have all this money with me i have the maximum amount of money that you can get in this game so that means we're gonna be going to where was it i think it was like right over here uh no not this guy i think it was like right over here Here's Jade once again. Welcome. Alright, Jade, you know what? You did say something before about this elixir that you have, which you didn't think that anybody would buy, but uh, not this time. I am, I myself, I'm gonna buy this elixir. Ah, you have a keen eye, sir. This is something of true worth. I didn't even go so far as to call it my pride and joy. Uh, I know I said before that I had no real must buys here, but that's because this little vial is priceless to me. Indeed, it is a truly priceless. Quite the miracle drug it is. I'll bring you back to life. It will bring you back to life after suffering a mortal wound. All right. Oh, we actually need like we only needed like a six thousand, sixty thousand gold. I thought that it was like nine 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 for some reason, but anyway, we do have quite a lot of gold. I. I can't believe it! You actually bought it! You must really have been saving up! It pays me to sell it, but I'm impressed by your dedication. Use it well, young man. Well, <laughs> goodbye, sir. You were thinking... 
I'll make sure I set one of everything aside for you. So if you should come... So if you should change your mind, you know where I'll be. Alright, sweet. So now we have the elixir with me. Whether I will ever use it or not, it kind of depends. It kind of depends on the bosses that we will fight in the future. But, yep, now we have the elixir, elixir with us. So, I think for right now we shall go back to Goddess's Palace. And then we shall go to Campanile Lane, wherever that was. I think it was like in this section over here, in the palace grounds. And I'm uh, just gonna avoid those guys, I don't really care that much. Fought enough of those guys <laughs> in my spare time, so it's not, really, it's not really necessary for me to fight them again. Ah yeah, there you go. So, um, yep, now it's a boss time. Mm, actually, I probably should have saved. Oh well. A red-haired swordsman. Well, actually, can I save it right now? Nah, apparently I cannot. Okay. You're the one who's been making our lives a living hell, are you not? I sure am. My name is Zava. Son of man, you must be taught your path. You must be taught your place. And I assure you, the lesson will be a long and painful one. <laughs> Offer yourself up to me. I'll drink your blood. I'll feast on your flesh. Dance for me! Dance the waltz of death! Dance the lambada of demise! So, red-haired swordsman, let's see what you can do. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, I cannot even equip? Ah, oh, damn it! Okay. Ah, shoot. Should have had my fire magic equipped. Ah. I was so reckless. And I cannot even attack that guy. I cannot even attack this boss, nor can I attack these, so... Yeah, it just kill me already. <laughs> so, where did I leave? Ah, man. Okay, well, you know what? It doesn't really matter that much. Either I have the elixir with me or not. I guess I'll buy it later. I just wanted to show you guys the elixir and all. I just wanted to show that I was able to buy the elixir. But, uh, I don't know. If uh, this boss will prove to be really, really difficult, then I will... Well, pff, even so. I don't think I really want to use uh, the elixir like right now at this boss. I mean, this boss isn't the final boss. If I were to use the elixir, then I definitely would... Um, I definitely would use it on the final boss, but not right now. So, we have that. We have the spitted cape. Should I use one of these? Like, it will uh, target the enemy... Focuses fire magic with greater accuracy. Nah. I guess I will um I will do that if necessary. But for right now, I guess the magic is gonna be good enough. The fire magic, that is. Okay, I know, I know. I am a I'm a I am a pain in your butt, for sure. Alright. Just uh Um Okay, so let's see how we're gonna attack them. Uh so first I guess I should attack Attack these things? Not really sure. Yeah, they. Aw, oh, man! Jesus Christ! Stop, um. Stop moving! Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't seem like they can be affected, though. Hmm. Interesting. Well, huh. Is this actually gonna be difficult? Because I don't know. I think that we're definitely gonna have to do something in order to, in order to defeat this boss, but I'm not really sure. I mean, that last boss that we had with the spider was pretty, um, it was pretty straightforward. Okay, come on. Yeah, can only, they cannot even be damaged, they can only, um, they just, ah, uh, oh, man. Ah, okay. What if I do this? No. No. I cannot do that either. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Oh man. I mean, uh, I did read the guide in my spare time when it comes to places where I have to go, but I didn't really read the descriptions of the bosses. I was thinking that maybe I can figure it out by myself, but... Mm, let's see. But yeah, I cannot really do... Hmm. Oh, this is really... Oh, 
<laughs> what? I can actually go back? I can actually exit the room and just enter whenever I want? Well, that's just new. I didn't even know... Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting. Well, okay. Um, so, I guess it's time for me to think about this. What should I use? Because I cannot really equip multiple staffs during this boss fight. So, it definitely has to be... I definitely have to use the fire magic, don't I? What if I use the falcon idol? Hmm. Well, anyway, let me just uh, regenerate my health over here. I get, actually, ah, okay. Let's actually test this a little bit. Let's see if um, let's see if I'm uh, able to get my health back by going here to the palace, to the goddess's palace. Let's see. Let's see if this is actually right. If I read it right or not. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Seriously, what am I supposed to do against that boss? It is good that you have come. We have great need of your strength. Now, in order to reach the core... Well, actually, what? Um... Okay? I guess I didn't talk to the goddesses either? Hmm. I thought that I saved after I talked to the goddesses. Or is it that they repeat what they said? Like... Every single time. Well, anyway, I guess so. So let me just. Def Whoa! Ah! Now my magic is different. Ah, okay. Now, now that make that makes sense. Ah, oh, what a what an idiot I am. If only I saved right before the boss, the first time I met them, I would have just defeated the boss up until now. But well, that explains it. That explains why uh, I wasn't able to, to like damage them because I didn't go to the goddess's palace first. Huh. Okay. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready for this. Let's see. Um. Can I actually damage them? I am not sure. Hmm. It doesn't seem like... Or can I actually damage them? It kind of feels like I am damaging them, but... I'm not really sure. Also, I have, um... Like, the idol. Like, the falcon slash hawk idol. With me, so... Let me just, uh, Do this. Oh, wow. Let me just do this. Let's see. It kind of... Huh, I like that it actually spreads when I uh, when I charge the attack like that. Hmm. But yeah, still, even if um, uh, or wait a second, is my magic actually blue because I am using the Falcon Idol? I'm not really sure about that. Let me just see. So if I equip this, ah, oh, you gotta be <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, I'm so confused, so... Okay, now we're back to square one. What am I supposed to... Hmm... Okay, actually, ah, I should have used this as well. Hmm... Okay, let me just see about this, so... It says that... Okay, well, it doesn't really... Okay, you know what? I guess I'm gonna be back in just a bit and figure this out, see if I missed something. So, I'll be back in just a jiffy. Alright, I am back over here, and uh, yeah, I went back to the Goddess's Palace, and once again, they say the exact same thing every single time you enter, so... That actually confused me a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but quite a lot. <laughs> because of that, I didn't know what was happening, but, um... Let's, uh... uh... Okay, I I do know what I'm supposed to do. So, apparently, yeah, you're supposed to defeat the bats first. And when there's, like, no bats anymore, then you are able to attack Zava. Which I guess is pretty good. But the thing is, I don't really know what... Uh, hmm. Let 
Maybe if I use the Ring of Ease? Hmm, might as well. I was debating between uh, using the Falcon Idol and the Ring of Ease, because... Uh, they are pretty, uh, like, uh, the Zabonites right over here are pretty difficult to... I mean, you're definitely gonna have to be accurate with your shots a little bit, but... I think that uh, I'm gonna be good enough. With the Ring of Ease, it will, it will make my job a bit easier. I can just corner them like this. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright. Did, uh, did some damage to the bats. They should be dead at one point, ho hopefully. Alright. Ah, man. Just try to... Not... Eh. Just try not to... <laughs> ah, okay. What if I use this? There you go. Okay. How come they are still not dead? Jesus. They take quite a lot of... Uh, they take quite a lot. Oh, shit. Okay. They actually take quite a lot. Oh, God. Oh. Why the hell did I do that? Now the battle is gonna restart once again. Okay, I know, I know. Let me just... Uh, I'm gonna have to do this again. But yeah, I think that... Um, that the Ring of Ease is gonna be the best in this. Come on. Ah, man. They just bounce like everywhere. Sheesh. But I guess it's... I guess it's pretty good. Like, the other bosses were... Were pretty easy. Now, it offers me a little bit of a challenge a bit. By trying to attack these bats. While also trying to avoid their attacks. Well, the... I mean... The last boss was super duper easy. I just had to attack the spider and that's pretty much it. But this one takes a little bit of time. Which I guess is really, really good. In terms of... Uh, Challenge for a boss. Um, all right. I'm just still trying to. Ugh. What if I do this? Ha! Oh, that actually hit hit me quite a lot. Ah. Oh, I said that we're gonna make some good progress today, ladies and gents, but. Apparently not. I didn't take into account the fact that this boss is gonna take a little bit. I mean, it does damage. However, I cannot see uh, uh, the bat's health go down. I can only see, uh, like, uh, Zava's uh, health, which it, it remains the same. I cannot really see the health of the bat, so I cannot really see, like, how much damage I do, like, how much health... I do per hit, I cannot really tell, like, whatsoever. And they're still not dead, I mean, come on! Come on, bats! You cannot beat this resilient! I mean, if the bats are, like, take so long to, like, if the bats take such, like, that many hits, like, then how much is gonna how much is Zavanite gonna take? Like Zava, not Zavanite. And the thing is, after I defeat those two bats, they're gonna be like three bats. And after I have like three bats, they're gonna be like four bats. And after that, well, finally after that, I'm gonna be able to damage Zava. But still, if it takes that long to defeat like two bats, it is gonna take like forever to defeat like three or four bats. I mean, I can imagine, like, these bats being taken in, like, say, 30 seconds each, but this is taking, like, way too long. I mean, do I have to... Uh, I don't know. Do I have to read the guide once again, or do I have to level up? I, I feel like I have to level up a little bit. Hmm... Alright then, back once again, and this time I am definitely gonna win against uh, Zava. Uh, and I'm saying that because uh, not only did I level up one time, but I went back to the subterranean canals and uh, found the battle sword, which will add an extra 20 strength, which will definitely make all the difference in the world this time around. I've actually tested this a little bit, and uh, I I finally managed to defeat a couple of bats with this. 
as long as I use my uh, tactic with uh, the Falcon Idol and uh, charge my shots, I think I'm gonna be good enough. I'm just gonna save it like 10 times there, why the heck not? It is so fast too. You, you can save like so fast, in like a nanosecond, just like that. I love that. But anyway, let's uh, charge shot. Try my best to avoid every single attack that they offer while trying to do this. Right? Got hit there for a couple. Oh, come on. The thing is, the like they bounce so much, just like that. Okay, there they go. There they go, son. Now I am able to defeat those bats. Like easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Another bat is dead. Another bat is gonna be dead soon enough. Ugh. Come on, there you go. Might as well just rapid fire a couple, a couple of times. There you go. Another bat is dead. And uh, this? No, actually we have four more bats over here. There you go. Sweet. So far I didn't get hit like. I only got hit like once. Got hit a couple of times there, but it doesn't matter. This time, I will win against you. And, uh, well, let's see what will happen after I defeat all the bats. This should be like the last round, I think, based on what I read. Ugh, god freaking damn it. So many bats. Come on, at least to try to... Okay, there you go. Two bats are gone. Now it's gonna be like way easier. Sweet! Okay, you should be the last bat. Okay. Alright. Now, this should be... It! Come on. I don't want to die, like, right now. Oh, God! So many shots! Yes! There you go. <laughs> Whew. Now, that was a challenge. That was one, one challenging um, boss there, must say. And that was on normal difficulty, too, so I guess that's good. Whew. And I also leveled up one time, so, yep, that uh, battle sword actually made uh, all the difference in the world. So, let's move on. Let's let's just go faster with this. I know I said that we're going to make some good, good progress in um, in this episode, but I didn't expect a boss to be difficult. I know, right? A boss to be challenging and ease? <laughs> I never knew. I never thought about that. <laughs> but, yeah. In the distance, the toll of the sacrificial bell could be heard. The ritual had begun. Oh, wow. Who is that? Stay away! There's no reason for you to die as well. Please, you must flee this place. Get away while you can. Huh. You think that I'm gonna run away that easily? Well, not on my watch. I will save you. Um, so, let's see... Alright, fight the boss. Okay, so we shall try and uh, move forward. We cannot really do anything about that girl. We're definitely gonna have to save her somehow, but... Uh, for right now, let's just save here as well, <laughs> after that boss. We shall go to the top of the tower, it says. I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess something will happen at the, the top of the tower, but I'm not really sure. And... No enemies, apparently. Also, the soundtrack is uh, is definitely something. The bell rang a second time. Uh oh, do I have to do something? Hmm. I think I'm supposed to go super super fast, don't I? I don't know. I mean, there's like no enemies. I just keep going through quarters and quarters and such. The bell rang a third time. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Okay. Come on. We have to go, we have to go! We have to go super super fast. The bell tolled for a fourth time. Only one remained. Such a brave warrior you are, Edel. I am truly impressed that you've made it to this lofty height. Hmm. <laughs> it makes me stroke my beard even more. I suppose I shall do you the favor of explaining to you the ritual you are about to witness. The ancestral priests of this land lived over 700 years ago, but their descendants still reside in ease today. 
the intent of this ritual is to root out and exterminate them. For you see, the priests' progeny are sickeningly heroic. Those of priestly blood are the most likely to come rushing in, brandishing a righteous indignation. Or perhaps we'll simply get lucky, and the priests' descendants will be among the sacrificial victims themselves. In any event, those of priestly descent must be killed. Thus, our orders are to cut down all who enter these halls. I believe you understand, then. Now, the bell has tolled four times. And this last shall be the sweetest. <laughs> The bell atop the tower rang for the fifth time, final time, cutting the stillness of the air. All you can do is reflect upon your own inadequacies, your utter powerlessness. Hmm. Alrighty then. Dale's escaped once again. I guess we shall go back and see if the girl is still safe. We have to find out if the girl is still safe. And there was also like a chest that was shielded. Maybe now that uh, we came all the way over here, we can open the chest. I do have a little bit of a hint as to what it will be inside that chest. I do have a little bit of a hunch. Yep, it was the Dreaming Idol. With this, we shall go back to the Goddess Palace to tell them that I have the idol. But uh, first, we shall see about that girl that we have seen. I can only assume that uh, that girl was also a descendant of the e descendant of ease of the priests of ease. I can only assume that. I also love the music. It just feels so. It makes you rush. It says that you are definitely gonna have to go fast. We have to save the world in thirty seconds, otherwise people will die. Maria's body lies still. No. Oh man. Well, I guess uh, that girl is gonna gonna stay there. Meanwhile, we're gonna have to go back to Goddess Palace. I will come back! Now we shall uh, tell the goddesses that um, we have found the idol. Yeah, I brought the Dreaming Idol. You can use it to restore those who were petrified to their noble selves. Observe. There is a recess in its forehead. If you place the Black Pearl there, you can awaken the idol from it, from its dream and dispel the curse upon the people. The black pearl. Please bring the black pearl here when you recover when you have recovered it. Ah, okay. I do so happen to know where this uh, black pearl is, so bring me up, Scotty, to Ramya Village. Now I know why uh, people said that. Well. Why uh, Hadad said that uh, that the boy came here and I should talk to him at some point. That is because uh, Tarf has the Black Pearl right now. What's wrong, mister? Huh? The Black Pearl? Aren't pearls usually white? Oh, is that what you call that stone you gave me when you got me out of that cave? In that case, I have it. Um... Uh... I have it right here. Ish. Or not? Oh crap! There's a hole in my pocket! That stone was so small too! I don't know if I could possibly find it now. I don't even know where I dropped it. Ah. Well then, uh, I guess it's impossible. We shall end the series right over here. We cannot even find the stone. Without the Black Pearl, we're not gonna even- We're not gonna be able to complete the Dreaming Idol. We're never gonna be able to unpetrify these people. <laughs> I had it when I got to the village. How much I know? I was playing around with, with it in my pocket when I talked to that guy with the funny eyes. You know, the guard. I'm really sorry, mister. 
I hope it wasn't super important or anything. Adol told Tarf not to worry, and reassured him that the Black Pearl would surely be found soon. We shall not lose hope, cause uh, Adol is here. I'm super duper sorry. Since I dropped the Black Pearl after I got here, maybe somebody found it and picked it up. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, well, I do know where I'm supposed to go, given the fact that I read the guide a little bit, and <laughs> I would have been stuck at this uh, at this point, but I shall tell you where it is. I shall definitely tell you where it exactly is. So, first things first, I shall go back through the entrance over here, the Shrine of Solomon. Yeah, yeah, I... Wait, what? Uh, what was it you ask? It's me. Something is really important, that's all I know. What did he say exactly? Hold on. I thought that he was gonna say the same shebang over there, but... Let's see. The meeting's finally over. Lord Dale's apparently recovered something that bought, that brought the meeting to a sudden close. Recovered something? What was it, you ask? It's me. Ah, okay. So that... Ah, I see. I guess that's pretty good. The game gave us a hint over there. Because I was about to say, how would uh, somebody know that the Black, the black Pearl, that this item uh, that Lord Dales recovered uh, is actually at uh, the meeting? I was about to say, but uh, yeah, I guess the game gave us, a, gave us a good hint over there. At least it tells us that we should go back to the meeting and see if there's something left there. That is definitely a good hint, because otherwise I wouldn't have fucking know how where to go. If I didn't read the guide, but uh, okay, let's see where the fact sector is. I uh, it should be okay. There you go. I still know where it is. So fact sector it is. Now we shall go back over somewhere. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Seriously, seriously, blocking my way like this, fucking bastards. Yeah, you have you are no match. You are definitely no match for me. You cannot stand a chance against me! I am Adol Christine! Alright. So, let's see. Let me just save here, just in case. And, uh, yep! I yeah, found the Black Pearl! Hmm. Okay, so... We found the, uh, the Black Pearl. Alright. Now, we shall go back to... Uh, actually, let me just see, so... Let's go back to Goddess Palace. Ah. Ah, oh, for the love of... Uh, for the love of the Lord of Judgment, what would I do without this uh, teleporty thingy? Oh, I was thinking that it would help me a little bit in this game, but it actually helps me quite a lot, because there's a lot of backtracking in this. I'm really, really glad, because otherwise I would have just cut from one place to another. As the Black Pearl was set within the Dreaming Idol, a faint glimmer emerged from its darkened depths. Ah! Oh, break the curse of our people. Travel to the top of the Campanile and raise the idol toward the heavens, to undo the spell of petrification. The final battle draws nigh. We have called the priest's descendants to come join us here in the shrine. It won't be long before they arrive, and all are gathered in the ancient underground core of ease. Please hurry to them. Alright, I shall definitely do that. And also regain my MP right over here. Sweet you! Save, and uh, yeah, this is, um, this is the progress that I was talking about, ladies and gents. I was thinking that we're gonna make we're gonna make some sweet progress because we're getting items, we're going places. I know where I'm supposed to go, but yeah, that uh, boss apparently uh, took some time to defeat because <laughs> apparently uh, apparently it was that tough. And uh, actually, why am I why am I here? I don't know. I don't want to go here. I wanna. Oh, ah, yeah, actually, I actually ha I do have to go here. I forgot. <laughs> I thought that this was a place for only the boss, but if you go further, we can just go to the top of the tower. But, uh, yeah. Uh, is the girl still there? Maria's body is gone. Oh! Maria! 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 
Maria. It kind of reminds me of a of a really old old song. Though I don't even really remember the name of it, nor how it sounds. Actually, it kind of feels odd when I think about it. Maybe it's because of Fallout New Vegas. That's why <laughs> I do have a little bit of a hint as to what uh, what I do have something in mind. But I don't know. But anyway. We shall go back to the tower, uh, to the top of the tower. Actually, let me just read this a little bit, so... Go to the top of the tower... Alright... Okay. Okay. Just reading a little bit, uh, just to uh, try to make sure... Just to uh, try to... See and remember what I'm supposed to do after this. So, go here... The stairs... Quarters... Stairs... Go left, go right... Go up, go down. Go left, go left, go left! Alright, sweet. Now we're over here. We shall use the Dreaming Idol. No, not that. <laughs> well, that would be just uh, reckless of me to just do that. To teleport back to Goddess Palace after climbing all the way over here. When Edo held the Dreaming Idol to the, to the heavens, a bright light emanated from its forehead. Leveled up! And... Oh, I thought that it was going to level up once again. But yep. Now, let's use the return magic and go to the runaway's hideout. Now, everybody should be unpetrified right over now. Sweet. Alright, so now we are over here. Let me just uh, talk to Lydia first. Because why not? Ah, where is Lydia? Uh, apparently Lydia is not here anymore. Okay. Okay, so... Kyle? When I was being held in the bell tower, I looked outside and realized I could see the world below. Could it be... Is Ease returning to the surface? Maybe? I was keeping my ears open while we were being taken away. From what I overheard, the demons are coming from the Ease core, which is even deeper underground than the canal. Okay, bots. Whoa! Ah, air delicious air. I work with stone for a living. And let me tell you, getting turned into it is a it is a much less rewarding experience. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> uh, but that aside, we're saved. You did it. You saved us all. I knew you, Poofu. All right. So we talked to boss, Bo bots. Uh, air in my lungs. Words fell. Should have sent a poet. What is he gonna faint? Okay. I guess I'm supposed to talk to somebody else. Thank you for saving us. That friendly demon named Keith told me. Oh, he said someone else in the shrine was also turned to stone. Just as we were. I would wager that he's been changed back as well. Oh, I do know what he who he's talking about. When it came to, Lydia was gone. I wonder where she could have gone off to. Aw, oh, man. I mean, where is she? Ah, oh, she's gonna get kidna kidnapped once again, isn't she? This place is teeming with demons. It's not safe for her to be a her to be here alone. May the goddesses keep her safe and deliver her back into our care. Huh? Oh hey, it's Keith. What's up, Keith? Oh, a demon! We're doomed! Uh, oh wait, a false alarm! It's Keith. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hello, this is the man who helped us in the bell tower. Come on, Noel. Take care. What the? He just left. I couldn't even read what he said. Uh, it's a wing. Uh, we can use that to get everyone safely back to the village. Okay. Alright, we can go. We can go home. A real lifesaver. Don't worry, we won't get in your way. We're going to head back to the village. Thank you so much, Adol. If only Lydia were here, things would be perfect. Adol swore that he would find Lydia. Understood. I'll leave her up to you then. Oh, that reminds me. I, I picked this up before I was captured. I found it in the old abandoned rest in the mine. No clue what he was doing down there. I think the area where I got it is called... I want to say the Sacred District of Tuol? Something like that. 
we'd never entered it before, when it seemed like we were being guided there, somehow. So we left ourselves to fate. You may need it in your battle, Zato. You should take it with you. Alright. Now I have... The gold pendant! As you may remember, we had the silver pendant, which would uh, help us uh, teleport somewhere else, using the goddess statue. Same thing will happen with the gold pendant. Anyway, I'll see you later, Adol. You can do this. I know you can. I believe in you! Brain away! Brain away! Sweet. 